Look what I found. I'm Andrew Cynthia White. Join me as I share my passion for building four-wheel drive trucks and traveling to the remotest parts of the world. This is the camping tool Deadpool would use. Let's dance. It's called the Annihilate Assassin. Mosquito. Ah. Let's see how good it is at killing mosquitoes. Maybe not. <coughs> and here it is. But I'm not going to look at that first. I'm going to look at this. And the reason for that is that these all-purpose camp tools have been around for a while. And I actually bought one uh, a couple of years ago. But I knew that it was a cheap Chinese knockoff. So I'm going to quickly have a look. You know, I've never used it. It's been tucked away in this um, rather overdressed bag for a long time. And the reason why I've never really taken to it is that, well, there was nothing about it that said to me, wow, that could be useful. Even though it has, so that's a shovel, that thing, not sure what that is, that seems all right. And I think that would go in there. No, that won't go in there. Will that go in there? Ah, oh, that'll go in there. That goes in there. Well, to me, that's, that's the shovel. That is a copy, cheap copy of this. There's nothing wrong with it, it's okay. But it's... All right, far more sensible bag to start with. Um, I've got a lot of uh, mosquitoes around me today. Um, so that's a strap that comes with it. The bag is uh, far more practical than that bag. Let's have a look. This is the blade. And in here, I have all the bits. I'm hoping for more here. Uh, well, it certainly looks cooler. There's the blade. That's uh, a proper blade, digging blade. So I'm going to, again, assemble it and see where I stand like that. So I've got an extension piece like that. I've got a nice, nice grip. That's better. Um, it's a whistle. It's a whistle. This is made properly. Um, would I use it? Would I actually use it apart from shotting mosquitoes? I, I, I mean, my shovel for making little holes in the ground when I have to uh, looks like this. I've had this a couple of decades. Yes, all it does is dig. It doesn't do anything else. Uh, these do more than just dig. So as a survival tool, yeah, I, I think as a survival tool, I, I think these things would be rather nice. I mean, I kind I, I kind of like that. Okay, handle number one, number two, harpoon, cord, defensive weapon. Yeah, certainly more good, better defensive weapon than this guy. Outdoor hand knife. Would, would I use that knife? Would I actually use that knife? I guess if I was just carrying this and I had a lots of tasks, but I would carry a proper knife, a dedicated knife. And a fire stick. Yes, I did see the fire stick. I didn't know what that was when I saw it. There it is there. That's a... Uh, um, for making sparks. I carry matches in my car. But again, for a survival tool, okay. So shovel, hammer, you can use this as a hammer. So now for chopping, I, 
This could easily be used as an axe, a light axe as well, because of its weight and because of the shape of its blade. Uh, this could be used as a, as a saw, not a particularly effective one. And it's got a picture of a submarine and a little ruler on it, which let's face it, we've survival. Got to have a picture of a submarine if you want to survive in the wilderness. Now I want to see if this has got the weight to be used as a chopper. I guess that if I was going to use it as a chopper, I would shorten the handle a bit, make it a little bit more practical. I'm not sure how best this would work, how what length, because weight is important for a small axe. And well, for something like this, Okay, it hasn't got a lot of weight. Let's try this. Yeah, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't have a lot of weight, but it's not, it's not as if it's terrible either. You know, it does actually have but this has also been designed as a portable tool for backpackers and hikers and survivalists carrying minimalist gear where they want one item to do lots of jobs. And anything where you're asking one item to do lots of jobs is probably not going to be really good at anything, but quite good at a lot. And I think this is one such tool, actually that I should now put this like this. I'm parked camping here um, near a swamp uh, because there's nobody else here. And uh, oh look, how nice. Oh well, kangaroo. So if I was going to do that, I might want to put this like this. I like that as an emergency thing. That's kind of a, I, I'm not sure if I would use it much, but it's there, it's part of it. I'm thinking that perhaps that now. <laughs> you know, I just realized something. This is a really good idea. It's a much better idea than my other shovel because this is a weapon. This is a very effective weapon against, well, what might I confront in the bush? Snake? I had, if I had to defend myself. Uh, I'm gonna swap it. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna use it uh, instead of that other one because it is more versatile. I do like it. Welcome to another piece of my kit that I'm going to carry from. As I pack this away, I realize that actually putting it in the bag defeats the object a bit. What I need to do is to put this somewhere where it's very easy for me to access while camping and ideally from inside the camper as well as out. That will take a bit of thought. Very satisfactory. <clears throat> I'm now ready to, uh, let me just check the box again, I'm ready to go and annihilate something. I have to be a fanatic first and then I will go and annihilate, now I have to be an assassin for Nat. Oh, what the hell? It's a ridiculous name, but I like it.